There's Jethro. Here's my noob tube. It has a 2200 kV, uh, 26, I'm sorry, 28 by 26 motor. It has a two inch external diameter fuselage. It's a pain in the butt to get all the electronics on there. And uh, it's got a small 850 milliamp hour battery in there uh, just to help lighten the load for uh, something I'm not used to. And let's see how it goes. Not sure if it's tail heavy or if it's just a trim issue, but it flies around a lot smoother than I thought. It's a little windy out today. And I'm using the uh, Tasty Gringo uh, little foam X motor mount. And uh, I just have it pinned in place. There's no glue holding that in, which made it a little easier installing some of the electronics. And overall, I was scared to fly this plane, but it's, it seems to be handling pretty well. See it bouncing around a little bit in the wind. Let's see if I can get Jethro to uh, chase it a little bit more. This will handle a bigger battery without any problem. I was afraid of the wing loading. Uh, I've never flown anything quite this small and compact and heavy. Uh, the all-up weight right now with the 850 milliamp hour battery is about 17. Whoop. And that may be it, folks. Oh, it's crunched up a lot, and yeah, well, so much for that. Fortunately, uh, Ed, Experimental Airlines uh, build techniques are uh, pretty easy to do, and uh, I'll definitely build another fuselage for this.